Today I am trying out the $1 billion morning routine. Well, that was miserable. And if you don't know what that is, basically there's this video of the habits of the world's most successful people, and basically there's this list of a morning routine that they follow. So we are going to try it out today. The moonlight never seems so bright until it's the only source of all your light. Oh, someone's calling, it's not me there. Scream and talk about your destiny, but sunshine, never mind. Give me all of your gray skies. I can't hide from the skies above. They're chasing me down, trying to find your love. Sunshine, never mind. Bring me all of your gray sky. Love has new faces, but it's still the same. You may be the one, but it could be a game. It took me too long to realize oh, that I'm stuck on the ground while you're up in the sky. and welcome to it. Today I am trying the one billion dollar morning routine or kind of like a billionaire's morning routine. Basically just a bunch of things that billionaires do in the morning I guess or the specific routine of this one guy on YouTube that made the first video explaining it so I'm kind of just following that. I know this has been a trend so it's kind of fun. So we did the first like four steps. Um, just did the 20 minutes of meditating. I will admit so far that was the most boring part. I cannot get myself to stay focused enough to do all that. I downloaded Headspace and I was just getting so bored. <laughs> but yeah now we are going to do two minutes of like activity like hard fast physical activity so I'm going to do crunches because that's what a lot of people have been doing and then we have to take a cold shower which that is the part that I'm dreading the most because I literally love hot steamy showers and like being warm the whole time so that's gonna be interesting <laughs> I'm not one that works out often, so that felt like five minutes. <laughs> Cold shower time. Okay, can't turn it too much. So hot. Then we'll go backwards. Ooh. Oh my god. How did I do this? Oh, that was miserable. Zero out of ten, never doing that again. Instantly freezing. I literally like maybe was in there for a minute. I rinsed myself off and did my body wash and that was it because it was so cold. <laughs> I don't know how people do that. Maybe you're not supposed to take like freezing cold. I don't, I didn't really understand that so. But now the next step is instantly getting ready out of the shower. Hey guys, so as I'm getting ready, I wanted to talk about today's video sponsor which is Daniel Wellington. Daniel Wellington is a jewelry company so they have a couple accessories like rings and bracelets and necklaces and stuff, but they mostly have stunning watches. So today I wanted to show you the watch that I got from their new Quadro collection. This is absolutely beautiful. I am in love with the rose gold and just the look of the rectangular shape of the watch face. So in their new Quadro collection, they have their first angular dial and a design that is unlike anything they've ever done before. It is inspired by the sleek and gentle elements from their petite collection and redefined with a bold edge. They're featuring a selection of dials available in black, white, and green, which was their first pattern-based dial, and then two new types of interchangeable straps, pressed mesh and pressed leather. The new mesh strap features a pressed texture to emulate a glistening fabric-like finish, and then the new leather strap features a thinner profile and a pressed edge to delicately blend the dial for a chic finish. The collection is available in stainless steel with a vibrant silver finish or a refined rose gold plating. So the Quadro collection 
collection is a new angle on a classic. Again, just so bold, but so simple and cute at the same time. I thought I would pair it with this nice little pink button up just to, again, give a classic outfit a new modern feel. So let's go ahead and put this baby on. Literally so cute. Anyways, if you're interested in this watch or any of the other watches in the collection, I will have the link and more details all down below for you. I will also have a discount code and that is Julia KDW. So you can go ahead and use that at checkout as well. Okay, I'm going to continue getting ready. I think I'm going to dry my hair, but first I kind of want to go make coffee. I don't really know if this was in the routine. I know it said something about water and supplements or whatever should be first and then you can drink whatever, so I'm just gonna go make coffee. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to do a deep cleaning video soon because this is so bad. Definitely did not think a millionaire would have this messy of a room. For makeup in the summer, I've been keeping it kind of light. So I went to Target and picked up this e.l.f. Camo CC Cream um, just because it has SPF in it. So I thought that was good for the summer and I just needed a new shade. So I went and got this. Then I used this little brush to you like blend it in. And then I usually will do some blush and occasionally under eye mascara. But that's honestly about it. So now that I am ready for the day, the next step in this routine is journaling. So I'm going to get out my iPad, I think, or a old paper journal and do some journaling. Actually, I just found my five minute journal, so I'm going to fill this out instead of writing. <laughs> So now the next step is to make a to-do list, a to-be list, and a to-feel list. So I'll kind of explain them a little. I've kind of laid it out. Up here is like all the to-do list, so I'm going to write a cute heading soon, but I just didn't get that far. And the guy in the video said that he does three like to-do list or goals for work and then three personal ones that he wants to get done. And that is kind of like how you look back at the end of the day and like, wow, I had a really good day is when you can get three of those and three of those so I think that actually sounds good because I have some of each that I wanted to get done today so if I can get those all done it will be a great day then there's a to feel and a to be list so the to feel list is kind of where you plan out what you're wanting to feel that day or like practice so that you have it ahead of your mind what you're going to do so like for example I'll put like love gratitude happiness kind of thing and so then throughout my day I will be reminding myself, okay, today I really wanted to feel happy and I really wanted to feel in love. So if something bad happens to me, I'll think back to this and say, okay, well, today I still really wanted to be happy, so let's find the positive side of this situation. And then the to be list, I didn't really understand that much. Kind of like, I want to be a good partner. I want to be a good daughter today, like things like that. So what can you do to do be those things? So I'm gonna fill this out and then I'll come back to you. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Okay, there it is. I actually really like it. I love the style of everything. So I'm excited to start working on all my things that I need to get done. The next is to read. So I have this book that I have been reading forever. I literally am taking so long to finish it, but maybe by doing this, it will encourage me to finish it faster. And he says that he reads for about 20 to 30 minutes every day if he has time. So he tries to make time, but obviously doesn't every day. If some days you're a little more busy, but today we're just gonna sit and read. I do. 
And then the last step is to make brain food, which is essentially a smoothie with lots of leafy greens and fruits and everything. But to be honest, I don't have anything of that in my kitchen right now, so I'm going to be skipping that part. But I am hopefully going to be doing like a that girl morning routine or a trying to be that girl for a day type of video, and I'm gonna go buy a bunch of that stuff for that. So hold off to that video to see me make a smoothie. And then I believe that is it for the routine itself. Overall, I really did like it. I think if I would not have spent so much time just dilly-dallying around, it would have gone a lot faster and I would have liked it a lot more. But it's now 10.30 and I started at 7.45. But I also literally just wasted so much time. Like I went up and cuddled with my dogs for like 30 minutes and sat around on my phone, which is obviously what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> but yeah, it was very enjoyable. I liked it a lot. Definitely will be incorporating some of these things into my morning routine, like this whole list thing. I thought that was really cool with the way that it was set out. I don't know, I really liked it. But yeah, again, don't forget to go click the link below to check out Daniel Wellington, and I think that is it for this video. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.